Alright guys, um, here is how to access the worksheet to, to be able to do this assignment and some quick tips. So, um, go ahead and click on the link. It's going to pull it up in a new tab. And here is your worksheet to be able to fill out. So in order to fill this out, um, right now you don't have access to edit this. So you need to go up to file right here. Go down the menu and right here is make a copy. So you need to make a copy of it that you can fill out into your Google Drive and name it something like your name's online bank account um, or bank simulation is, is fine. Uh, so I'd say Ms. Mannion's online bank oops, simulation, abbreviated or whatever. Hit OK and then it will create this um, worksheet in your drive so that you can fill it out. And you can go ahead and close this one out so you don't get confused. Um, okay, now there's a link here. Oops. There's a link here that, oops. Okay, just click on it and then it'll open. I'm in Chrome. Um, if you're using a different browser, it might work differently. But anyway, go to the link and uh, open it up. And then you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna go up here to create a free account. So this is a, a simulation that sort of vaguely rem resembles a lot of banks' online um, websites, how they work and how you can make transactions and stuff like that. Um, it's not gonna be exactly the same as any you know one bank or credit union. Remember again, credit unions are usually a little bit more favorable, a little bit better for, for you, the customer. Um, so you're gonna go up here to create a free account and you gotta choose a username make up a password and, and just uh, put your first name and then it makes up a fake uh, address for you and that's fine just use their, their fake one um, don't use your real one don't use any real I mean like use your real first name so I know whose account it is but you don't have to worry about putting in like real um, information especially um, on these security questions although on these you may want to I mean put in answers that you'll remember um, a lot of banks actually have these, uh, most do, so that if you forget your password, you can get back into your account. So um, you choose, you know, whichever one you want, and then you put in your answer. It can be the real answer, or it can be a totally baloney answer, a totally fake answer. Just if you use fake answers, it's kind of nice because it gives you one more level of security. If you're like, well, let's see, my... Um, you know, anybody who knew me when I was a kid knew, knows what my childhood nickname was, so maybe that's not very secure. So I want to make up something else. Just don't forget what you make up. Um, okay, so you want to fill those out, and then um, you can choose to have it alert you. It'll usually send you an email um, if your account, say, falls below a certain amount. Um, and you can choose a dollar amount on this simulation. Um, not every bank or credit union um, has the option to just choose whatever dollar amount you want, um, but some do. And then there is, um, if, if you know anybody makes a, a withdrawal on your account that's over a certain amount, I would recommend having that um, clicked on, like on a real account, if, if you have a real account. Um, that way, if there's a fraudulent charge on your account, you'll have a pretty good idea, because um, usually those, those are pretty big. Um, same with transactions, that's if, if somebody transfers money or um, even adds money. Some scams will add money to your account, and then um, basically if if you do it wrong, they'll um, you'll like fix it with the bank, and they'll like ask for the money back, and um, if you tell the bank that, oh wait, this money's not mine, and then they are like, oh, they like want a, a charge back, then um, you can get stuck giving them money. It's it's not not good. Um, and then if a bill pays uh, in an amount greater than a certain amount, and you might want to do that. Um, some utilities will change from month to month. Um, like for example, power, uh, power like electric, and um, gas kind of can vary. You can set them up so that they pay the same each month or um, you can have them vary throughout the year. Um, or like I know a lot of internet companies will, um, they'll give you a deal for a while, but then after a while it'll go back to quote unquote regular price. And so if you, if you choose this, 
then um, it can be alerted when when they start charging you more and you can go negotiate a better price with them again. It's kind of a pain. I don't like they do that. I like internet companies that are kind of more no-nonsense, but um, Google Fiber. But they're not always available in, in, every, in every neighborhood. Uh, anyway, okay, so you hit submit, and that is your account. And I have one that's already made. Uh-oh. It locked me out. Oh, here we go. So this is my one that is already made. And that's what it will look like when you start actually doing your assignment. So that's it for that. Then um, you just go through, read all of the instructions very carefully, work through this, answer the questions, fill in your answers right here. So you can say, my... Starting balance is blah, 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 or current balance um, after you start. And it will give you a certain amount. And I'm not going to, you know, give any spoilers, but um, you start at a certain amount. And um, you check that by, let me see if I can find the right window here. Account activity, you can say here, it'll give you your current balance. Um, so this is April 14th. Um, when you start it, go up here and, and make sure you change the date. I forgot to do that says on here. So uh, before you start, change it to January 17th and push go. That'll start you, start you at the right date, January 14th. Hit go, and that will set it so that it's uh, so that it's ready for you to start. All right, um, you are good to, to get started. If you have questions, um, email me or just send me a message through Canvas. Um, that's what I'm checking the most right now is, is the messaging through Canvas. Um, I miss you guys. Hope you're safe and well, and good luck. Um, by the way, midterms are Friday. This is not going on midterms. Um, it's not due for a couple weeks because I know this is kind of a big assignment. So um, take it easy. Get some stuff done. Um, you know your grades. Your grades still count, so don't give up. Um, your teachers, we all love you, and and hope you're doing good. Okay, bye bye.